Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's broadcast of Breck Live. Uh, tonight's game is going to be the Fighting Tigers hosting the Owensboro Red Devils. Uh, the Fighting Tigers are coming into this game 2-5. and five. Uh, They just recently played McLean County uh, at the Owensboro Sports Center, if you attended that game. Uh, thank you for coming and showing your support for both uh, Basketball teams, Lady Tigers and Fighting Tigers. Uh, the Lady Tigers did defeat Barron County in an impressive, impressive match. Uh, the Fighting Tigers did come up short uh, to McLean County, uh, 56-38. They were leading at the half. Uh, played quite a, an aggressive uh, first half, actually, and then just uh, kind of got away from them. McLean County started hitting more shots and just became a little bit more aggressive. So the teams coming in, like I said, two and five. Uh, they've only defeated Cloverport and Nelson County, so hopefully they're going to be coming for a dogfight tonight. Both seniors, Kaysen Morris and Ethan Lucas, are going to be out, so that's going to be a big loss for the team tonight as Kaysen Morris with 91 points, averaging 18 points per game, and Ethan Lucas with 36 points on the season so far. So that's going to be a big loss uh, for the Tigers uh, tonight. Uh, this season, the, it has been a struggle after losing the previous seniors, uh, specifically KB on Mitchell, uh, leading scorer for the team, pretty much leader in everything for the team. Uh, so the team's going to have to find some new leadership in Kaysen Morris and Eamon O'Donohue, last year's starters. Uh, well, Eamon didn't start as much as Kaysen did, but uh, varsity players. But uh, as I said, Kaysen is out. He suffered a sprain against Cloverport, and I'm not sure what happened with Ethan. He was oh. playing against McLean County. His back is hurting this morning. His so. back is hurting. All righty. Well, not good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with me tonight is uh, Shelby Ford. And uh, he, you've, you've heard from him a couple times for the boys' broadcasts. I don't remember what games that you... Uh, I think it's Hollow. And then what was the last one? I can't remember what their last one was. All righty. Well, I believe they're about to do the National Anthem. So, we're going to go to a quick commercial break and be right back.
not appear that they are doing the national anthem tonight. I guess not. And if they do, then we'll just do a quick cutaway. <laughs> um, uh, looking at Owensboro as we have about three minutes to go until uh, not tip off inbound. Uh, Owensboro's coming into this game only one and one. They've uh, only played Butler County, which was a win, and Evansville Bose. I, I never know how to say that, uh, which <laughs> which was a loss. So, but their games against Grayson and Davis were canceled due to COVID. If I had to make a prediction, I'd say Owensboro probably would have won those games pretty well. Uh, they beat Butler County 84-55. Uh, so that was uh, that was a good win for them to start the season off right. Uh, but last season, taking a look back, uh, the team was 21 and 11, 13 and 2 in the region, uh, and they lost to Catholic in the third region championship last season. The Fighting Tigers did lose to Owensboro in a 76-65 margin. So we'll see how they fare tonight. Uh, a couple players to look out for after we only have stats for the one game against Butler County. So the only couple players that we can really know for sure right now off the top of our head without looking at uh, last season stats is going to be Amari Robinson Wales. Uh, he was the leading scorer with 17 points, 57% field goal, and a 50% three point. Uh, he was followed by Chris Glover with 13 points, 71% field goal, and a 75% free throw shooter. So we will uh, we'll see how those uh, numbers come out tonight. In comparison for Breckenridge County, uh, our leading scorer right now is Amy O'Donohue with 103 points. That was boosted up ahead of Kaysen Morris's 91 after the game against McLean when Kaysen didn't play. Amon's averaging roughly 15 points per game. He has a 42% field goal percentage, which was pretty good uh, this far into the season. 49% three-point, same thing. And he's 87% from the free throw line. So ha being able to uh, hit the free throws, especially towards the end of the game, is definitely going to matter, as we saw with uh, the Meade County with the Lady Tigers. So... Now looking at Casey Morris as the boys are coming out onto the floor. Uh, he's 32% from the field. Now, that may seem pretty low for Casey, but let me just tell you how many attempts he has. He has 93 attempts. He's 30 for 93. He has been shooting the ball a lot, <laughs> to say the least. 93 attempts in, in uh, how many games? He has played uh, six games and not even a full six games uh, with the Cloverport. That's insane. <laughs> um, he's definitely been taking taking control of the ball, but uh, hasn't been as successful as he as we wish he would be, or as he probably wishes he would be. But uh, and he's only 18% from the three point line, which is definitely not something that we would have thought from last year. Uh, last year he's quite the shooter. Oh yeah, I mean I mean he still is. It's just just looking at the numbers, it's kind of just like whoa, you know. Uh, Come behind them is the junior Cole Proctor. 51 points, 37% field goal, 88% free throw. He's leading the rebounds right now with six rebounds per game. So looking to him to be kind of the big man, him and Cole Critchlow, uh, another senior. And uh, about 20 seconds left before we uh, get into this match. Owensboro came out ready to play. Uh, the JV game, unfortunate loss for the Tigers. Uh, Owensboro was pretty ahead for them for the entire game as I've heard. So we'll, uh, we'll see how tonight uh, comes out. And right now, they're about to do the starting lineups.
pair. So I believe we saw number 23, Ethan Pendleton, uh, number 20, Jalen Hinton, uh, number 12, Kenyatta Carbon, number 11, Cameron Powell, and number two, Amari Robinson Wales, out on the floor. We have to stand up to see this better. So Owensboro is going to start off the game with an inbound into Cayman Powell. Driving up the court. And it appears Brett County is in man-to-man -man defense right now. Skip over to Powell. Wales up top, leading the offense right now. Pass on over 12. Powell, Wales, good defense by Brett Ranch County so far. Kind of taking it a little bit slow, not getting too aggressive to start the game is Owensboro. Mercer Rogers still on number 12. The eighth grader Mercer Rogers, nice spin move, shots up and it's good. Owensboro starts the game off with a nice little jumper into Eamon O'Donohue. Not only tall, Cole Proctor, very intense press. Not sure if they're gonna get it over in time and they do. Lane tall now. Nice pass into Mercer Rogers. No foul called. Threw it right behind him. And there now there is. Oh no! It's just going to be the other way. So Owens for a ball again. Powell, bring the ball up the court. Looks like they're getting more aggressive. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit more aggressive. Nice rebound by Mercer Rogers there. Almost overthrew him in O'Donohue. Cole Critchlow in the corner. Cole Proctor now driving around, and that's going to be a turnover. Powell going up for the layup. Nice adjustment. So Cole Proctor now going to inbound the ball as Owens grows up 4-0. to Amy O'Donohue in the trap. Gets it out to Cole Proctor, who loses the ball. And Powell picks it up. Now this Owensboro press is very aggressive. Breckridge County can't seem to get around it. Not enough men in the backcourt as that's gonna be an easy drive for Wales. And the size of Owensboro is much larger than Breckridge County as not sure how well you can tell on the camera. <laughs> so Lane's Hall up top now. Aggressive defense by Wales and that's a turnover right away. Not a good look. Going up for the easy layup. Not looking too good right now. No, this is just Owensboro's game right now. Just very aggressive. Not letting Breckridge County get it up. And that's another turnover. So that's three straight turnovers uh, for Breckridge County. Missed the layup. Cole Proctor with the rebound. And another turnover. Just a... Um, not a good awareness of the court right now as Xavier Perks and Jared Harner are set to come in. And that's going to be a kickball out by Mercer Rogers. So Mercer's coming out, and so is Cole Proctor. Uh, Xavier Perks and Jared Harner are coming in for them both. Uh, definitely need to have some better vision of the court right now. Just t way too many turnovers, and they're really unnecessary. Uh, just passing it right into the hands of the defenders. And that's going to be a walk by number 23, Ethan Pendleton. He's a 6'4 sophomore. First foul of the game. Jared Horner trying to find somebody. And Eamon O'Donohue not looking for the ball at all. Not sure what he was doing there. Just kind of keeping it slow, passing around a little bit, trying to find, find, trying to find an open move as Breckridge County stays in this man defense. Pushing a little bit. And he pulls up the jumper. It's good. And that's going to be a timeout, Breckridge County, as they're down 10 to 0 already. Uh, not looking good for the Tigers. Just can't even get the ball up the court. Um, I think that's their biggest problem right now is just that press and how to deal with it. Uh, I think it's just the pressure of Owensboro kind of getting to the team right now uh, without uh, Ethan Lucas and Casey Morse to kind of uh, lead them a little bit. Trying to see Amy O'Donohue bring out some leadership skills here and uh, as he has played against them before uh, last year. Uh, I don't know what it is about some third region games. Breckenridge County just seems to have a lot of, like I said, pressure and they kind of think too much and just start making some uh, unnecessary errors. 
or so unforced error, should I say. So about just under five minutes to go. Xavier Perks gonna be inbounded the ball. Not looking at Damon O'Donohue in front of him. Gets it to Cole Critchlow. And almost another turnover. And they get it across. Jared Harned for the three. It's no good. Way off. And a nice easy layup there for number 12. That'll be Kenyatta Carbon. Xavier Perks trying to find somebody. Cole Critchlow in the corner. Gets around the trap. Aiming now. Nice pass to Lane Tall. Jump shot. Oh, no good. In and out. Carbon bringing the ball up. And that's going to be a walk. So Cole Proctor coming in for Cole Critchlow, the senior. Tall is going to be inbounding the ball. Finds Cole Proctor. Who's in the trap? Up the court to Jared Harnon. Nice passing by Breckridge County. Xavier Perks thought about the shot, and goes up, and, and there is a foul called. Looks like we figured oh, out how to get past that press. Yeah, uh, starting to, and that was an offensive foul on Xavier Perks. And I believe that was the right call by the official. Number. 42, Isaiah Hart coming into the game. Haven't seen too much from him so far. I know he played in the win over Nelson County. So Wales now at the wing. Moves around the screen. Wales again. Open three was a miss. Hart. And now Eamon O'Donohue. Finally getting around the press. Jared Harnett in the corner. Gets it to Eamon O'Donohue. Xavier Perks inbound to Coke Proctor. Spin move, too strong on the bank. So three minutes to go. There's a drive in, and that's gonna be a blocking foul on Jared Harnett. He's normally pretty good about getting those charge calls. Uh, just couldn't get it on that time as Owensboro Red Devils are up 14-0. Breckenridge County not, haven't had very many good looks and the ones they have had just in and out, couldn't get them in. So this is gonna be Carbon for the free throw and it's good. So for the three point play. And Cole Proctor stepped over line. So Mercer Rogers coming back in. There's just a lot of unforced errors here. Mm -hmm. uh, Breckridge County thinking a little too much and too much pressure going on right now that they're kind of just stumbling around a bit. Carbon, the three is good for Kenyatta Carbon, the sophomore guard. Lane Tall almost carried it there. Only using the right hand, doesn't switch it around and that's gonna cost him as that was almost a turnover. Xavier Perks driving in, nice move, and he gets the foul. So, does a blocking call on Cayman Powell. Sending Xavier Perks to the line, hopefully gonna get the first point or points of the game for Breckenridge County. And he gets the first one. Breckenridge County not at zero anymore. You can say some stuff if you want, Joey. I don't care, man. <laughs> uh, you're doing a fine job. Saying everything I'm thinking of. <laughs> so, uh, I, I know you're a big James Harden fan. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Going what do you think about him going to the Nets? What oh, you think I'm now a Nets fan, so got, the, got a nice big three going on. Yeah, well, Colin Sexton had, to, had something to say about that. <laughs> well, it's not definitely not a championship team. Because there's I, no, there's no I mean there's no way we're gonna be able to deal with AD. Um, <laughs> AD Jimmy Davis. I, I know, but, <laughs> but anyways, like there's no way that we're gonna do great. Uh, I mean, I, you do have three superstars on the team, but two of them also have to be are also ISO players. Um, and there's only one ball, so you really only need, see James Harden's best way he does. He's a good, uh, I guess we can say hoop getter, right? 
always find his way to the bucket or to the basket. James Harden always finds his way. Okay. You see. Interesting. It, he's okay. really good at drawing the charge. Or not charge. He's really good at drawing fouls. What are you saying, man? Zero okay. step is ungodly. <laughs> and then his uh, double step back. His double, yeah. Don't forget the uh, travel step back. It's not travel, though. All it's right. A, All right, Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, 22-2. Owensboro just going to take a little bit slow with just under two minutes to go. In for the game is Cole Critchlow. Open three is a miss. And I believe that's going to be out. Yep, that's out Owensboro, number 20. Jalen Hinton. So, Amino O'Donohue to inbound the ball. Xavier Perks finds Lane Tall. It's going to be a drive, and that's going to be out Hinton. Nice little save there by the Red Devil. Probably going to be an easy layup for Breckenridge County. Amino O'Donohue. Nice move by Cole Proctor. Oh, and it's going to be a foul call. That was a nice, nice little fake there by Cole Proctor. I like to see it. So he's going to be going to the line now. Very quiet in this arena right now. Yeah, not very many on either side. So Cole Proctor <laughs> missed the first. Hart, Isaiah Hart, about to come back in. Four lane tall. Like to see Cole Proctor hit this second free throw. And he does. So bring the score 22 3. Powell now up top. Off the mark there for the Red Devils. And that's going to be another turnover. Not sure. What Eminem O'Donoghue was doing, he didn't move for the ball. Here are the coaches and, and parents getting a little on the Fighting Tigers to wake up. Wales a three, no good in and out. Xavier Perks now at the ball. Xavier takes it down the paint. Oh, uh, can't really tell from this angle what happened. I assume he did step back over, but uh, from my angle, I couldn't really tell. It uh, didn't seem like it to me. Yeah, it didn't seem like to me either. But we're in a little different positioning like we were the Mead County game as well. is going to make a draft. A nice little jump there, and it's no good. Rebounded by Cole Proctor. He's in a triple man trap. Eamon O'Donoghue now. And ooh. Oh. Too strong to Cole Critchlow. Almost. Team's just, team just got to slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Settle themselves. The pass is what's getting us the most. Oh, yeah, definitely. All the turnovers. Uh, I, I really don't know how many we have. Probably probably more than 10 right now. As it's in to 2-3, that's going to be a charge. Tried going for the little spin move there. Number 23, then Pendleton, 6-4. Sophomore. So Cole Proctor is going to be inbounding the ball. Let's switch off. And in to Cole Critchell, and that's going to be a foul on Pendleton. So Jared Harnan now getting inbounded for Cole Proctor. He's going to get it into Cole Proctor. Almost loses the ball and a turnover. Oh, just couldn't get the dunk. Inbound to Cole Critchlow. Cole Proctor, nice find. And that's going to be, no, it's picked up by Jared Harnan who's driving in. Nice little move there by the junior. Going to send him to the free throw line. I wouldn't throw his defense is outstanding. I'll give him that. Yeah, I, th I think it's all in due part to Breckenridge County's just kind of a little jittery and a, a little rushed right now. They well, under, under a bit of pressure with uh, Owensboro. Uh, Jared Hunt misses the free throw. Mercer Rogers, the eighth grader, coming back in for Cole Proctor. 
And their no, no, no. He's going in for Eamon O'Donoghue. Apologies. Yeah, and the team's uh, chemistry is a little mixed up right now without having Ethan or, or Casey. Yeah, yeah. I completely agree. Uh, two leaders of the team. Uh, I was well, I was there to watch the boys play in McLean County as Owensboro's going to try to rush this. And, ooh, almost a turnover. Try to get a shot off. Nice shot there by Wales in the corner. And that's going to be into the first quarter. Um, like I said, I was there to watch the McLean County game, and Ethan Lucas was was doing really well as uh, heading the offense and getting the team in uh, good positions. Uh, a lot of nice, a lot of, a lot, of, a lot of decent chemistry there as a team that game. Uh, just unfortunately came up short, but I do have to say that they played a tremendous first half. It was a very slow dogfight, though. Uh, not a lot of scoring. Uh, in the game, it was very, it was very slow pace. Well, not I wouldn't really say slow pace. It, it was a pretty fast paced game. It's just for both sides, we could not get shots to go down, and um, yeah. any drives was just too strong or too short, and just couldn't get, couldn't really get in the rhythm for, of making the shots. But we definitely had the energy tonight. Looking out, it, it, it doesn't seem like they really have as much energy here, and obviously probably a little jitter because of it is Owensboro, a third region rival, and. Uh, so, starting the second quarter now. Owensboro's Rutgers. always been a bit of a threat as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, such a such a big team, big school actually. Uh, in football, they went. Oh, I don't even know how far they went. They were gonna go. I don't know if they went. I think that was like the biggest competition. And they they. Uh, I I don't know how far into the tournament they went for state, but yeah, they they were going in. Of course, some COVID. Some COVID. Uh, Delays uh, may have assisted them there, but they were definitely a very big, nice team. As Cole Proctor's going to turn it over there, twelve now, nice little move. <laughs> Don't normally see that in some of the games we've watched. Jared Harned in the corner, hands off to Cole Proctor. Jared Harned, and the coaches tell him to talk. And behind the back, Jared Harned as he loses it. Gonna be a jump ball call, and I believe that yeah, it's gonna be on throw ball. A lot of turnovers. Yeah, yeah, def that's that's the one thing that's really hurting Buckridge County, just unforced turnovers. The number twelve, a carbon, is having a great game. Of oh yeah, definitely. Over to Wales. And I see Chris Glover's in now. And it's going to be a foul on Mercer Rogers. Not a good foul. As Breckridge County still in single digits and scoring. Can't really get it over to their side of the court. So the inbound it to Glover. Wales. Back to Glover up top at the key. Glover to Wales on the baseline, almost slipped. Not a good look there. And that, that is a foul called on Isaiah Hart. Coaches do not do these things too happy. Well, definitely not. They're down 24. So it's going to be carbon to inbound to Glover. Bringing in number 32, Dylan Talbot. Wales on the wing. Lover. Thing about driving. Into Talbot. Up against Cole Critchlow. In and out. Rebounded by Eamon O'Donohue. And it's stripped. Picked up by Cole Critchlow. Say Hart gets across the line. Mercer Rogers. The three, no good. He's a little bit rushed there. I think that was kind of a bad look, honestly. And oh. Mercer Rogers just with the kick, no foul called. Xavier Perks thought he was going to get uh, hit, I think. So went a little too strong. And for the easy layup, as not sure who's going to inbound the ball. Mercer Rogers is. So six minutes to go in the first half. Burke Ranch County definitely not looking too good right now. And that's going to be another strip spin. And yep, that is a travel. There was supposed to be a girls game yesterday, wasn't there? 
Uh, yeah, it was going to be against uh, Central Harden, I believe. Uh, canceled due to a player uh, testing positive from Cloverport. All of our players are fine. Uh, there's an update on Twitter from Fair County Athletics and the uh, LA Tigers Twitter page on that matter. Uh, I believe they're planning to play possibly on World Catholic later in this week. So we'll see. That will definitely be a good game. As Dice passed Eamon O'Donohue, going to reset the offense. Zay Hart, nice little fake. Floater on the baseline. Ooh, in and out. Rebounded by Xavier Perks, and he's going to get the foul called. Good effort there by the senior. So he's going to go to the line as number 24 for Owensboro. It's coming in Jalen Rogers. I think this is the second set of foul shots. No, I believe it's uh, for Xavier Parks it is, yes. So six fouls for both teams already. And Xavier's going to miss the first one. Definitely going to have to start hitting some free throws if we want to get some easy buckets in. So Tall's coming in the game for Breckenridge County. And Xavier makes the first or the second one. Owensboro pushing up the tempo. Rogers on the wing. Rogers again. Talbot. Talbot again. McCampbell going up. Too strong. Rebounded by Isaiah Hart. He's gonna push the ball up. And he's just gonna he's gonna lose it there. Dribbling too much. Should have settled down. And Mercer Rogers gets the Steal and easy bucket. That's the first set of points that were not free throws for Breckenridge County this game. Very promising. So it's 32 7. Good defense by the Tigers right now. Glover. No walk was called. And rebounded by Ta Talbot. No, I believe that's. Yeah, that was Talbot. I'm sorry. Tall to inbound, gives it to Isaiah Hart. Picked up his dribble. And that's going to be picked up by Rogers. And a turnover by Owensboro. Haven't been seeing that too much. Isaiah Hart pushing the ball. Amino Donahue now, top of the key. Hands over to the eighth grader. Almost losing it. Tall now. Only comfortable with his right hand. Going to have to, over the years, probably start developing uh, his left hand a bit as Mercer Rogers backing up with four minutes to go. Gets around to Xavier Perks at the elbow. Mercer in the corner. Finds Eamon O'Donohue's lane tall. Goes up. No foul call. Clean block. Glover. Euro. Oh. And... No good as Talbot gets to put in. And not sure what that was. Well, he got to Eamon. Fake. Three. No good. Xavier for the rebound. Goes up, gets the easy bucket. Rogers on the wing. And McCampbell with the easy put up. His height definitely benefited him there. So Eamon O'Donohue passes around. Go on, do some play calling. <laughs> uh, almost out. I call gives it to Xavier. Xavier shoots. No good. Nice little strip there by Mercer Rogers. Going to have to reset the offense a bit. Eamon O'Donohue's driving around. Oh, and cl another clean block. Xavier and that's going to be a, it out. Yeah, there you go. This is what Berkman's kind of needs. Eamon, the three. On the wing, no, no good. good. Eamon's having a struggling, struggling so far tonight. This is like second or third shot from the wing. No uh, good. I believe that was the second shot from the corner there. That wasn't good. No. Oh, and no foul on Mercer Rogers after that hit. So Xavier Perks with the rebound. And Owensboro not pressing now as they're up 38-9. Parkridge County hoping to get into double digits right here before the end of the first half. Eamon O'Donohue thought about the three, and he it's does. Good. Contested shot way off. 
D not a good look at all. Glover, an easy they, drive, these uncontested. Layups. Yeah, these layups are apparently helping them. Oh yeah, definitely. Just Breckenridge County's defense down in down low has not been the lack been of the big strong. man. But yeah, the lack of the big man really does not help Breckenridge County in this game. Definitely need a little bit more size both to really what, compete. Both of what I'd be considering big men are on the bench right now, so. I, I don't know who you're talking about. Coach Churchill, Co Proctor. Oh, I, I and they're going to get subbed in. Yeah, uh, Co, Co Proctor's had a bit of a bit of turnovers tonight. Uh, I have a feeling that's why they've taken them out. Yeah. The lack of height, though, especially. Yeah, they have a really young team out here right now besides Xavier, and that's going to be just an unforced foul. On the Campbell. Cole Critchell, Cole Proctor, and Jared Harnett coming in. That's yeah, one minute to go in this first half. Lane Tall going to be shooting free throws. As Owensboro has seven fouls right now in the end of the first half. Makes the first, Bre Breckridge County into double digits. And makes the second. Owens were up by an impressive lead on Breckridge County. One minute left on the clock for the end of the half. That's going to be it. Over the back call on Owensboro. Just a couple, so, some turnovers for Owensboro that they they could work on in practices later on, and I have a film the coach probably will as it's oh, yeah. under a minute to go. Jared to inbound it to Cole Proctor. Guarded heavily. Nice little move there. Rebounded by Mercer Rogers. Pull up jumper, no good. And that's going to be out. By Glover, so Breckenridge County with possession again. Going to need to take this time to get a shot off and hopefully in before they go off into the locker room first half. And to Cole Proctor, Mercer Rogers. Going to reset a little bit, driving in. Nice move by the eighth in. grader. Mercer Rogers has a lot of potential, especially. Oh, yeah, definitely. I can't imagine what he's going to be like on a senior year. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious how the team will look by that time. And, uh, and yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> this be a travel call, as that was good defense by Cole Critchlow. So 12 seconds left, Breckridge County. Going to try to get one more shot off. And the deep pass to Jared Harned. And that's out of Owensboro, barely. Uh, he probably could have found somebody down low if he really wanted to. Oh, yeah. But that's going to waste about a second off the clock. Jared Harned inbound. Got a stack. Mercer tripped. So Mercer now at the top of the key. Six seconds left. Nice handles by the eighth grader. He's going around. Puts it up. Oh, no good. So Breckridge County. Going into the locker room at the end of the first half, down. It's amazing to see how well Mercer's able to put up with all these older, yeah, and he much bigger. He's definitely players. taking. He's definitely decided he's going to take the leadership role right now, as as uh, some of the others are, have been have been pressured and uh, kind of. Uh, I don't know the right word right now, <laughs> <laughs> but we're down forty thirteen, uh, so. We will come back in a few yeah. minutes with some with some words on the first half, uh, a little bit of just a little bit of commentary on what we saw uh, during that uh, those two quarters. So, right now, we're going to go to a quick commercial break.
Welcome back, everybody. Just over a minute to go until we start the second half of Berkeley Ranch County hosting Owensboro. Uh, I have some comments to make. Uh, I know in the uh, Mead County girls game, I may have said something along the lines of Conor McGregor will beat Farrier in the first round, I think, or I said, or said two rounds. At least I predicted two rounds. And let's just say Connor had it in the bag. First round, I don't care what anybody says. He definitely won the first round. But uh, it's an unfortunate loss. <laughs> it's an unfortunate loss, okay? And I just have to come out and say that I was wrong. And I'm going to be the bigger person for Connor <laughs> in this situation. Nah. I don't watch much of that. Uh, can you Khabib is a happened? trash talker. Khabib is a trash talker, and I'd love to see a Connor Poirier. Uh, no, not Connor Poirier. What am I saying? Connor Khabib, two, because that would basically be Rocky three. Okay. Did you okay. see Jake Paul's Ro new offer? Shut up. Connor. Shut up. <laughs> We're not talking about Jake Paul. <laughs> Embarrassment to boxing. All right. <laughs> anyway. Back to basketball. So, Mercer Rogers now with the ball. Needs somebody to come up, take the ball. Lane now. Cole Critchlow. Our county hoping to be a little bit more aggressive right now. As it's in another trap, Mercer Rogers gets the ball, driving in. Pull up, no good. Rebounded by Lane Tall. Oh no, picked up. Wales going in. Oh, oh almost. travel, unfortunate travel there. Good sportsmanship by Breckridge County helping them up though. So Lane talking him in by the ball again. Finds Cole Critchlow up. What you're saying earlier, you can tell Lane does not like using his left hand at all. Yeah, yeah, I've I've, I've noticed that quite a bit. Um, no carry there on Cole. Mercer in the corner. Well, some nice ball handling. Isaiah Hart, confident three, no good. Rebounded by, picked up by Cole Critchlow. He's going to go. Up. Oh, too strong. And that's going to be not sure. A lot of wrestling going on down there. A little nice jump jumper. shot there by Jalen Hinton. It's like Eamon is waiting to get back in. Yeah. So Xavier Perks bring the ball up. Nice move by Zay. Oh, too strong though. Nice pass there behind the back the, to number 12, layups. Carbon. These layups and getting it right back down to the court is just phenomenal by Owensboro. Yeah, it's 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 either that or just Breckridge County's defense has not been able to catch up as that's another turnover by Isaiah Hart. Mercer Rogers running down court trying to stop him. He's quick. Well, love the effort. And that's another turnover, Breckridge County stepping over the line. So Amy O'Donoghue coming in for Hart and Cole Proctor coming in for Tall. Two minutes have gone by in the second half. In to Garvin. Wales. Wales wide open for the three. A very interesting shot, yeah, no, might I add. Yeah. It's been pretty successful for him. Nice little ball handling there by Xavier Perks. He picks it up, though. And to Cole Proctor. Amen. little fake, pump fake there by Xavier Perks, too. Oh, oh no foul is going to be called. But it's going to be a travel. I believe he got elbowed there right in the face. Yeah, that's what not, it like. not <laughs> this angle, I'm not sure what uh, no call was for. but So Jared Harned 
is going to be coming in for Xavier Perks. Breckenridge right. County hasn't been able to score a point just yet in the second half. Wales now. Wales again for the three. That shot. <laughs> yeah, we saw him, uh, I believe it was him uh, in warm-ups. Yeah. Just draining the free throws with it. And Mercer Rogers, the eighth grade, just loses the ball there. Wales again. Nice move. Oh, got stuck trying to go for that little reverse there. So it's going to be Breckridge County ball. No, it's not. Lane coming in for Mercer. G give Mercer a little bit of a break. Gotta love the effort by the eighth grader. Yeah, it's, I can't see how he's running. He's the first one down the corner, the first one back. Yep, just definitely something you, you need to start seeing from uh, the other players, the older guys. Uh, they Maybe learn a thing or two, and that's going to be a travel. Yep. So Owensboro having some, having some, uh, having some turnovers themselves. Quite a bit of travels in this game, and not sure what Lane was looking at. Cole Proctor was wide open there, but he got to him eventually. And bad pass by Amon O'Donohue. Uh, the team is really just not confident enough to dribble the ball. Up the court right now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really just sure. Losing the ball left and right. Yeah, they're just not 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 too confident about dribbling it, and it's just a couple little one twos before they decide to pass it. Good job by Cole Critchlow, able to keep his feet in. I don't Cole know Proctor. what happened there, Cole. It's, it's a, like he just dropped the ball. That's that's fortunate for Breckridge County that uh, that uh, Carbon stepped out because. I believe it just slipped out of his hand from yeah. where we're sitting. We can really see it. Tall, the three. And no good. Just can't get any shots to go. Really struggling tonight. Oh, yeah. And nice little jumper there by Jalen Hennon. Cole Critchlow with the ball. Jared Harnan. Need somebody to come help him. Cole Proctor, they're gonna get it across. Yes, they do. Oh, and Cole just got it. And jump ball. I believe that's gonna be Breckridge County possession. Yes, it is. So Xavier's gonna be coming in for Cole Critchlow. Kind of noticing something. I'm pretty sure almost all all of our players, the people they're matched up with, it's just I want to be taller. And every oh, definitely, without a doubt. As that's a not a good look to Jared Harned. Just some of the past decisions by Breckridge County has really hurt them tonight. As Wells goes up, <laughs> nice move there with the left hand. Xavier Perks now with the ball. Now aiming, so they're gonna fall back. No press. Give Breckridge County a little bit of room. 52-13. Lane tall now at the wing. Not not dribbling. Yeah, not definitely not confident. Switching over to the left hand. Into Jared Harned. Up against three, and it's gonna get fouled. Oh. So Jared Harned going to the line, hoping to get some points on in the third quarter for Breckner Inch County. First is good. Second and is good also. So is the second. Jared Hunt leading the scoring in the third quarter for Breckenridge County. I wonder if we're all still playing aggressive though. Yeah, I I, I wouldn't say. Um, as aggressive as they probably have been or might. Well, it's still faster pace. It, it is still a little bit faster pace. No press, though. Uh, that foul is on Xavier Perks, so Wells is going to go to the line. 
First is good. That shot. <laughs> Second goods too. So you've been watching college basketball recently, Shelby? Oh no, no, <laughs> no. Just NBA. Just NBA. I, I, I've started this, and that that's gonna be a foul there. Uh, yeah, I, I've started watching more NBA than college. I don't know. In my old age, I've <laughs> I've switched over a little bit. Yeah. I just know one thing for sure, Kentucky's not doing the best this year. <laughs> hey, watch it. <laughs> nah, nah, they're not. <laughs> it's been it's been pretty bad. And uh, uh, like Western Western Kentucky uh, University is having a I would surprising love, come out. I would love for Calipari to play WKU. I think he's scared, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, they're doing pretty I, good. I think Calipari's scared. Jared Harnett tried drawing the charge there. And that's going to be a missed layup. And picked up by Xavier Perks, the senior. But yeah, like I was saying, I th I, Calipari, his excuses are starting to annoy me. I'm not going to lie. I can't remember what conference they're in, though. Who, Kentucky? Or Western. No. And that's going to be up to 14. Oh, and passed right off Jared Harned. He stopped that there. And Lane Tall with the rebound, 22 seconds left. And too long on the pass. Don't, not just sure a, why. Just we, another un. Yeah, I'm not, down. and that's going to be a running clock. I'm not sure why Park Ridge County has been loving this. Um, these just long tosses right here. So that is going to be the end of the third quarter. Uh. Not much to say, not 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 too much to say. Um, Owens were playing a phenomenal game. Owens were playing a good game. I uh, I don't think it's really phenomenal, but it's just Breck Ranch County. Uh, the I pressure, think a lot the, of I it is the coming pressure. from Breck County being just a little yeah. sloppy. And oh yeah yeah, Breck Ranch County has definitely been sloppy. Uh, I think the pressure also got to him, seeing that both are. Starters, Casey Morris and Ethan Lucas are out. Definitely not going to help, but haven't seen Eamon O'Donohue step up um, for this game. A lot has been Mercer. Yeah, Mercer and Xavier Perks really putting out all effort. Mm -hmm. Paul Critchlow. Um, Jared Harned, the only scorer in the third quarter from free throws. So hopefully we'll get a couple more buckets. Get some buckets in this uh Final quarter. Oh, yeah. And I believe they had a running clock started uh, at the end there. So it's going to be Wales to inbound to 14 Robinson. Mercer Rogers, the aggressive press. Trap now. Hinton. No good on the layup, but it was Tip put up in. there by Hinton. I believe that was Pendleton. Apologies, that went up for that shot. Mercer Rogers into Cole Proctor. Don't dribble it. Okay. Thought he might go for the dribble and get a double called on him. Into Cole Proctor. In and around, and it's good. Cole Proctor gets two. Robinson bring the ball up the court. Almost loses it. Hart tried to get the steal. Hinton way off the mark. You brought up the NBA. Who, what team do you rep? Well, I'm a Kentucky fan, but I don't like the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's really... So does that make I, you I, a Lakers I, fan? Is no, I, I rooted for the Lakers last season just because I'm such a big Anthony Davis guy. Um, 
unforced turnover there. Uh, I like AD, so I rooted for them just so he could get a championship under his name. Mm. Now, I don't know. I, I mean, De'Aaron Fox, I love De'Aaron Fox, so I guess the Kings, but I just have such trouble. Cole Proctor, the three, bringing them to 20. But, yeah, um, there's a lot of teams I just really don't like. There's players I like, you know, but uh -huh. there's teams I just don't like. Like You just like Kentucky players? or former Pretty much. Like I like John Wall a lot, but I don't like the Rockets. Um, Why don't you like the Rockets? Is well. It, is it just because of Harden? Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> Russell Westbrook went there. So, no, really didn't. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Who else? Uh, I don't know, man. Not a Pacers guy. Like I said, I'm not a Knicks guy. Not a Sixers guy. But hey, quickly has been doing really well mm -hmm. for the Knicks. I've been watching recently. Pretty sure he dropped 31 the other night. All right, got I got a very heated question for you. Mm. MJ or Braun? <laughs> We're not talking about this. Oh, I'm right. Obviously, I I love some classic basketball, so I'm gonna say MJ. That's the right but answer. <laughs> but. I just, I just like, I like watching MJ's clips more than I would like to watch LeBron's. Oh yeah, that's just me. I like watching the greats. Oh, hey, you can't <laughs> say that. I mean, LeBron is. I mean, uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's overhyped. I don't know about it. He's kind of, he's kind of goaded. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I still prefer MJ. But I'm not saying that MJ would win in a one v one entirely. Mm -hmm. But, all right, so Tall with the ball at the wing. Five minutes to go in this. He almost lost the ball there. Jared Harnan now got swatted away, but drew the foul. So he's going to go to the line now. Missed that one too short. And he's going to go for the second here. And he made the second one. Tall guard and Glover now. Mormon at the wing. Glover. Johnson. And that's going to be a travel. Slipped up a little bit. Open them back up. So, Amon O'Donohue going to inbound the ball to Cole Proctor. Going to save a little. Well, not saving time as it's a running clock right now. 59-21. So, Cole Critchlow to Lane Tall. Amon O'Donohue. Not enough time to get the three. Jared Harnan now. And no foul called. Clean. Talbot now. Glover the three. No good. Rebounded there by Johnson. No foul was called. Uh, up 61-21. Probably not going to be very many fouls called. So Cole Proctor pushing the ball up. And that's going to be a turnover. Lane Tall missing it. And Owensboro fighting each other for the rebound. <laughs> and they're going to go up and get the easy bucket. That was uh, number 10, Maurice Mormon. So Mercer Rogers coming in and Xavier Perks also coming in. Mm -hmm. And Isaiah Hart coming in. Now, I don't remember seeing Isaiah Hart playing for the couple of games I've commented. He, he um... Uh, yeah, he hasn't played too much. Uh, he transferred, I believe. I talked to him uh, uh, in, in school <laughs> in, in the time I was in school for the hybrid <laughs> schedule. Um, I believe he transferred from Louisville. I don't really remember what school. Apolo apologies to him for not remembering that. But I don't really remember what school. But uh, he hasn't played a whole lot on the varsity level just yet. I, I remember seeing him in the Nelson County game specifically. Uh, he got some minutes there. Is Eamon O'Donoghue going to go up for the three? No good. Eamon's just been off tonight, low, very low percentage. As that's in the corner, shot three, good for 
Taylor. So aiming now. A little over three minutes till the end of the game. Yep. Owensboro still playing good defense. As that's a pass to Mercer Rogers. Nice little handles there. Say a heart thought about the three. Goes up for the jumper. No good. That was a nice little move. Taylor there almost lost his dribble. Glover going up and around. And that was an easy bucket. Oh, but it's going to be an offensive foul. Cole Proctor comes back in for Cole Critchlow. If I'm not mistaken, I think today marks a year since uh, Kobe's uh, tragic. Yep, yep, it is. Great player. Rest, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to all those that uh, died on that helicopter crash. Very unfortunate. As that's going to be picked up and for the Euro, and he got it. A little unconventional oh. Euro step there. You know who else has an unconventional Euro step? James Harden. Okay. Great yeah. player. <laughs> we're, done, we're done with James Harden. <laughs> I swear, I don't know how. The man confuses me with his weight. <laughs> what do you mean? He looks fat. Well, and in the okay, next picture, he's so he, he, he did that like, so like a basketball he player. He wore he wore like a weight suit at one day. Are you is this fact or are you just no? This is fact. off of no, no, uh, social fact. media and Twitter. This is pretty well fact. Well, I saw another picture of him at the Nets and he looked pretty big again, but I don't know. Are are you saying something bad about people who? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't understand the man. <laughs> I mean. Can't deny he's a phenomenal player. I never said that. I never said he wasn't. That's what I meant to say. One of the biggest offensive threats right now. Xavier Perks almost with the steal there. Glover bringing it up the court. Taylor driving around. Turnover there. Mercer Rogers with the ball. Cole Proctor got blocked midair. John Morton in the game. Wide open three, no good. Eamon O'Donohue with the rebound. Going to bring it up the court. Eamon's got to get him something this game. Not sure how many points he has, if any. Cole Proctor, easy layup. Yeah, actually, I don't think Eamon has any points this game. I, yeah, I, I, I don't think so, but I could be wrong, so I don't, I don't, I don't really want to say it. I think they – did they call a walk, I believe? No. No, they're just going to – I think most of them have came from uh, – uh, they're Mercer just gonna and yeah, yeah. Cole Proctor and Xavier. Mercer, yeah, yeah. They that wasn't a walk. They just uh, let him come in. So Glover now. Less than a minute left. Still strong defense by Breckridge County. Not one to give up. As that's a nice three again from Taylor. Pretty straight shot. Hart, bring the ball up, gets it to Cole Proctor, almost a turnover, wide open lane, oh, foul called. Cole Proctor going to the line. Owensboro with six fouls. Breckridge County just with three. the first. And second in and out. No good there. Cole Proctor with the rebound. 15 seconds left. Breckridge County hoping to get one more shot off. Mercer's going to pull the three in the corner. No good. Rebounded by Xavier Perks. He's going to go up. Can't get to go. And it's fouled. Five seconds left. Yep, five seconds left. Xavier Perks to the line. So this game uh, winding down. Uh, Breckridge County 
struggled quite a bit. Uh, 72, 26, mm. hoping to be 28. Just a lot of turnovers. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of turnovers, especially in the first half. That really just it put like them down. It seemed like almost every pass, every yeah, possession. Yeah, they, they, they couldn't get. They couldn't get. And both free throws are a miss. And then that full court press. And yeah, the full court press really, really put a damper to Breckenridge County. Uh, couldn't get shots to go. Uh, free throws started coming through a little bit, but uh, uh, Breckenridge County hoping to uh, bounce back from this tough loss in the next game. I'm not sure. Yeah, I was about to ask you, do we know who they're playing uh, next? Let me double check real quick. I'm not 100 entirely percent sure. I don't know my cover the boys games. Uh, let me just pull that up real quick. Uh, any final thoughts from you, Shelby? Uh, just wasn't the best game. Uh, I mean, Owensboro, I mean, I'm not. Heck of a team. I, I can't, mean, I can't, I mean, say, I'm team. I can't say I'm thoroughly surprised. I mean, we didn't have Case and we didn't have Ethan. I mean, two, yeah, two I'm, great I, players. I am curious how the score would have looked uh, with those two. Um, on the court, um, but they play Bullet East January 28th. That's going to be an away game. The first, the next home game uh, with COVID uh, permitting. Uh, it's going to be February 5th, Hancock County. So make sure you tune into that game. Uh, I'm not sure. What's the next? I believe girls it. Home I believe game. They're, it's at seven o'clock. Uh, next girls home game. You, know, you just had to ask. Just had to ask. Uh, I'm not entirely percent sure because of uh, the COVID situation. Let me just see if I can find it real quick. Girls, girls, girls. But yeah, not 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 entirely sure. Real quick because of um, uh, the COVID situation. Uh, the game against Central Harden was canceled. They do play January 29th, Owensboro Catholic. That is away. Then they play Owensboro away, hoping to get some nice games and a couple wins out of there to increase their record to eight. They're right now they're seven and one. But uh, And then the next home game, unless anything changes, will be Hancock County February 5th. That will be a doubleheader with the boys. So their game starts at 530 and the boys follow at 7. So... Um, the team definitely going to have to recuperate after that loss. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully bounce back, work on some things and practices. Hopefully we'll start seeing Kaysen Morris and Ethan Lucas. I believe Kaysen was without his crutches today, so hopefully that's a good sign. I think it's three weeks now. Some very well, they played Cloverport last week. Yeah. But, um, so I'm yeah. Three weeks left for recovery. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not entirely dis uh, sure on that. I haven't talked to anybody. Well, uh, so as for uh, as for uh, Cameron and Shelby, we are signing off. Have a great night and tune in next time.